Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a bullet journal flip through. Shall we just get started? Oh, and side note, I am normally a book reviewer. Um, you can find all of my book reviews on the bibliophilegirluk.com. But since I've started a bullet journal, I thought I'd do a few monthly videos here and then to just show you guys what I've been doing. So let's get on with it. So here is some Shudo Ghibli washi tape. It is a bit see-through, um, so I was a bit disappointed with that, but oh well. So first page, we've got our index page. Now I didn't think that this would be very handy, but it kind it kind of is. Um, just tells me where you know all all of my pages are, what pages I start on. Um, I still need to rub out this pencil yet. So as you can see, it's still in the working stages to be honest. Um, and some of the pages I'm not really that pleased with, but that's the whole point of bullet journaling, you know, trial and error. So I use washi tape for the borders and here, borders here. This page is my basic info page, so I'm not going to be showing you that, but as you can see I've just done, you know, a few doodles. This page is my future log, so as you can see, it started in June, I've just put all of the birthdays, um, stuff that I know is definitely going on in advance. In December, here's my social stats page. Um, I was going to do my social stats at the last day of each month, so as you can see, because it's not the end of June yet, I haven't actually filled in this bit. So this is Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, um, blog views and blog unique visitors for that month. And as you can see, just made it all colourful. Here is my wish list. This is the um, more expensive items. Here, some more Studio Ghibli washi tape. Yes, I'm obsessed with the company. It's great. I love it. I've even got... Totoro tattoo. So yeah, this is my savings track. I actually haven't um, coloured in up to this point yet. Then we have my exercise diary. So what I did is I drew a small calendar for each month, and then um, I haven't actually done it for June yet because I'm lazy. But circle or highlight the days where I've done my exercises. And here's just going to be a quote, so I haven't actually finished that yet. This is ugly. Please ignore this. This is the worst page that I've ever done in my entire life. Um, but because I'm a book blogger, I thought I'd keep track of all of the book releases that come out um, during the second half of the year. So as you can see, you've got June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Um, some book washi tape. But yeah, this is horrible. I hate this disgusting so I'm definitely going to be changing this next year um, yeah because ew, no one wants to look at that then I've got my 2017 film releases I'm actually pretty proud of this page keep track of all the film releases that come out every month here I've got some washi tape um, the second half of the year isn't finished yet as you can see because I'm lazy then I've got my uh, 2017 TV releases so again, small calendars um, with the things that come out and the days. Then we've got my Hello June page. Now I'm really pleased with this because I don't think I've drawn since I was about 10 years old. So that's like, what, 11 years? Um, so yeah, I just, you know, had a bit of a doodle with some flowers. Um, as you can see, my typography isn't that great at the moment. Um, I'm still practicing. So yeah, right here I've got my June calendar. So yeah, we've got all of my appointments, the general election, Father's Day, um, appointments for my dog, um, to-do lists just at the side so I can keep track of the big things that need to be done during the month. Then I've got my work hours. I am hiding them because you know it says how much I get paid per shift and I don't really want you guys to see that. But yeah, so I just keep track of all the hours that I work over the month. Again, Shudo give me washi tape. Um, 
then here we've got my um, blog post for this month so here you can see the fact that I've just kind of put a key um, so I can see when I've done things so you've got started started the book completed the book written the article and if I've put it on NetGalley or not because um, obviously I need to share my reviews with them then I've got my habit tracker then I've got my mood tracker so instead of having like the mood mandala or gratitude log I've done this so I can once the month's finished I can draw a graph just to see how I'm feeling that day I guess I am going to keep this next month but I'm also um, going to do a gratitude log I have well I started it this second week of June I think so this is my weekly spread so this is my time tracker i thought that'd be really interesting so i've got my mini calendar for that week and i've highlighted the week where i started um just some notes this is my water intake so but i don't really drink water i drink squash so i've just kind of colored in how many um pints i drank that day and i've got my little key there second week um this is the week that we're on now and here we are today um again time tracker then this is next week then this is my june page i have done a sketch for my june title page so this is my calendar then i have my work hours log then i've got my um, blog content for that month I really don't like this these colors I think it's too dark and it just looks ug ugly I've switched my habit tracker up for this month so I've cut cut out stuff that I didn't really need um, I've spaced it out a bit more so hopefully that will look a bit better my mood tracker um, weekly spread as you can see, I have changed it up. Um, but I don't think I like this because I need it all in one place. So with, where is it? With this week, at least everything was in the same place. But here, it's on two separate pages. So I'm going to have to change that again for August. Um, so there we go. Then, this is when I go on holiday. So I just thought I'd put some orange washi tape to signify when, like, you know, how long I'm going to be on holiday for. So that's there and because I'm going to Holland to visit family and then I'm going to Paris I've just put some uh, Paris washi tape and I'm going to make a list of the things that me and my family can do whilst we're in Paris um, here I'm going to put a packing checklist just so I can make sure that I've got everything for when I go then for July I have my holiday diary so we can go in for 15 days so I just thought for every day I'll just write a couple of sentences just to keep track of um, what we do during that day. Then I have my expenses tracker this is something new for July um, I didn't do this in June because as I said I started it in the second week so you know by then I'd kind of forgot what I'd brought during the first week so here I've got food essentials books clothes other and then the total I spent during that day here um, it's going to be the page for highlights of the month so draw little doodles then here I have my reading challenge now I do actually I am on goodreads so that's um, like an electronic way to keep track of all the books I read but I just thought if I don't have internet access um, at least here I've got a paper version of all the books that um, I've read during this year so far so as you can see I've uh, done pretty good so yeah my aim is for 100 um, just finished Nemesis and now I'm reading When Dimple Met Rishi so that's going to be going there here is a space for the top 10 books that I would have read in 2017 so I'll fill that in Years ended and then here, I thought it'd be quite interesting to do a reading stats page just to see, um, you know, what kind of different books I'm reading. So at the moment, you can see that I'm reading way more female authored books than male. Um, the amount of stars that I give it, I haven't actually filled in the type or genre yet. Type, you've got middle grade, young adult and adult. 
And then genre, I've got fiction, non-fiction and graphic novel, author nationality, haven't uh, filled this out yet, and book length. And that's that. I've actually sketched out my Hello August page and yeah, got a long way to go. So that's my bullet journal so far. I am pretty pleased with it to be fair. Um, a lot of work has gone into it. And this is the Loistrom 1917. Um, I think it cost me about £13. And I love it because the pages are numbered. So you don't have to go in and manually write it all. And at the back is a little pocket. So this is where I kind of put all my stencils, um, my ruler and stuff like that. I will be doing a August plan with me where I'll have a flip through of my finished July pages and you can watch me plan for August. Um, I'm also going to be doing a stationary video that will be out in the next couple of weeks maybe because I have got a lot of new stationery to show you guys. So yeah, there we go. Thank you for watching, my name's Kirsty and don't forget to click the like button, the subscribe button so you can keep track of all the videos that I've put on.